Seema Modi is here now with their side of the story, Seema. Well, Kelly, the narrative around emerging markets has certainly changed since the start of the year when there was so much optimism surrounding China's reopening. But with the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, Credit Suisse, we've seen accelerated emerging market outflows over the past two weeks. Uh, Asian investors are among those that do have exposure to Credit Suisse's uh, tier one bonds. But the bigger concern is that foreign banks will start to tighten their lending standards. That puts extreme pressure on countries that have large current account deficits. So they're importing more than they export. Countries like Turkey, Chile, and Colombia. Uh, worth noting, central banks, including the ones of these countries, have implemented new risk management tools since the greater financial crisis. But they're smaller countries, right? So they have less of a buffer than developed economies like the United States. So those are the countries to watch or are potentially at risk if we see some type of contagion effect. Looking ahead, though, to the Fed decision, I mean, if we do see a smaller than expected interest rate high, Goldman Sachs points out that is good news, right, for the emerging markets uh, that are sitting on high dollar denominated debt. They want lower rates and they want a weaker dollar, which, by the way, we've now seen four consecutive days of losses. So that sort of tells you how the market is positioned going into tomorrow. That trend continues. That is very good news for emerging markets. Goldman Sachs actually sharing with us, they actually think tomorrow, because they're suggesting there's a hold, that that would be an inflection point for this EM trade. Wow. That's what I was thinking is knowing that the dollar's been a little bit weak lately, are they, they, they should suffer from the macro, but at the same time be helped by the FI. It all kind of depends on how, whether this crisis, banking crisis gets any worse, I guess, um, unless they're, unless they're already point. going to struggle from the tightening that we could see by some of these major banks. Although you could also you know, argue Latin America, India, countries like Brazil, they've already started their rate hiking cycle well before the Federal Reserve. So that actually positions them to outperform. That's what Goldman Sachs shared with us as well. Uh, China is its own little ball game tomorrow. In addition to a Fed meeting, we have a state council meeting inside China where the new premier is expected to unveil some type of stimulus measures. If you recall three weeks ago at that National People's Congress, we didn't get that stimulus announcement. Chinese stocks sold off. Hmm. Tomorrow, if we get that announcement. We'll see if that changes the story there.